Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In this episode, I'll be going over some of the universal force powers that exist in Legends. If you're enjoying the videos, please give them a like and subscribe to the channel so I can continue making them for you. Just a quick note, some of the powers I will go over are also considered canon, but I am sticking to the Legends information for this video. Force powers themselves were accessed universally or through the light or dark side of the force. This is not to be mistaken for intent, as one could use light-sided force powers for bad purposes or vice versa. Universal force powers were associated with neither side of the force. Art of the Small was a power where the user could shrink their presence in the force to a microscopic size. Fighting Sight was a form of highly accurate precognition. Battle Meditation was a power that considerably boosted the morale, stamina, and overall battle prowess of an individual's allies while reducing the opposition's combat effectiveness and their will to fight. Breath Control was a power where the user could numb their body's instinct to shut down after long periods without oxygen, allowing the user to go longer without breathing by storing reserves of air in the lungs. Comprehend Speech is an ability that enables the user to understand the spoken language of any sentient being they are interacting with. It seems you've interrupted the boy's rite of passage, or test. How do you know what they're saying? When you travel the universe with Qui-Gon Jinn, you tend to learn a few things. Doppelganger was a power that allowed the user to create a perfect illusion of themselves through the Force. Farsight was the Force ability to gain vague impressions of events happening in other places or times. Han. Leia! <laughs> Force Bella was a power where the user could amplify their voice using the Force. Force Body was the technique which allowed the user to push their body's endurance past the safe limit, allowing them to live through what would normally kill them and prevent the user from being severed from the Force. Force Deflection was a power where the user could deflect incoming attacks with the Force. Theron Force Listening was a technique which allowed the user to understand words in another language or listen to beings talking from a distance. This war is killing me. My whole business has gone under. Oh, give me another round. Force Flash was a power that allowed the user to produce an unnatural flash of bright light, temporarily blinding opponents. Force Illusion was the ability to project an image into the mind of others. A variant of this was known as Masquerade, which enabled the user to mask their appearance to others. Force Jump, also known as Force Leap, was when an individual used the Force to boost their natural leaping ability. Force Meld, otherwise known as Jedi Meld or Battle Meld, was a technique where a number of users could join their minds with the Force, drawing strength from each other. Force Sense was among the most basic powers. The individual could feel another being's feelings, the future, ripples in the Force, impending danger, and the shroud of the dark side. Force Sight, also known as Force Seeing or Combat Sense, was another basic Force power that would enhance the individual's visual perception even in the dark or behind walls. Force Stealth, also known as Force Concealment or Buried Presence, was a power that enabled the user to mask their Force alignment, their ability to use the Force, or even their entire presence from other Force sensitives. It's treason, then. Force Speed, also known as Burst of Speed or Force Sprint, was a power that allowed the user greater boosts of speed for a longer duration. Force Suppression was a power that would diminish an enemy's force resistance and negate them from using a wide range of force abilities. Force Visions were a rare and uncontrollable ability. The user could see future events that could potentially happen. Force Weapon was an ability that allowed the user to imbue an unpowered weapon with the force for a period of time. Mind Tricks, otherwise known as Mind Control, was a force power used to influence the thoughts of sentient life. Depending on the tricks, these powers could be aligned with either side of the force. Phase was a power that allowed the user to pass through matter such as walls or doors. Precognition, also known as Danger Scent, was the ability of foresight that was manifested in force visions of future events, guiding premonitions or warnings, and an inflow of pre-signs that helped to predict opponents' movements. Psychometry, also known as postcognition or telemetry, was a power that enabled the user to pick up information about the object touched and the events surrounding it. 
Sever Force was a power where the user could block a being's connection to the Force with a wall of light side energy. Shatter Points was an ability to sense where the unbreakable can be broken, either in events or individuals. Tapas was a technique where the user could draw on the Force to remain warm in a cold environment. Telekinesis was a power which allowed the user to move physical matter in a variety of ways. This included the abilities such as Force Push and Force Pull. Light side powers were accessed through the Force's light side. Typically used by Jedi, they focused on protection and defense, as well as for increasing physical and mental capabilities. Alter Environment was a power that allowed the user to manipulate nature, creating phenomena such as Force Whirlwinds or Fog. Animal Bond, also known as Animal Friendship, Beast Control, or Beast Trick, was a power that allowed the user to control an animal. Battlemind was a power where the user's morale and fighting spirit would be augmented through sheer focus, by giving a drive to fight through the hardest conflicts and where they could even overcome old age or fading stamina. Combustion or Flamus Fracta was a power that allowed the user to cause an object to explode. Cruciatorn was a power that allowed the user to cause a target's physical pain to either transcend beyond normal threshold or decrease it. Electric Judgment, also known as Emerald Lightning, is a power similar in both appearance and usage to Force Lightning, although it was yellow or green in color. Unlike Force Lightning, the user did not require anger or fear to use this, instead was calm and in control of their emotions. Force Barrier, or Force Shield, was when the user created a barrier or wall of force energy around themselves or a target. Force Blinding is a power that allowed the user to emit a blinding flash of energy from their hand. Force Enlightenment is a power that, when activated, would push the user's most skilled force powers to the highest degree of their abilities. Force Ghost was the soul and essence of a deceased force sensitive who denied the will of the force upon death, yet was able to interact with the living, albeit not physically. Force Healing, Force Heal, or Cure, was a power where the user could accelerate the natural healing process rapidly. It could heal most injuries and most otherwise fatal wounds. Force Light was a power that when used against a Darksider, would weaken their connection to the Force. Force Orb is a power that created pure Force energy that could obstruct the surrounding environment. Force Stun, Force Stasis, and Stasis Field was a power that could temporarily deaden the senses and perceptions of targeted enemies while preventing most movements. Force Valor is a power that would increase the resolve, accuracy, and speed of the user and their allies. Hibernation Trance, otherwise known as Healing Trance, was a power that allowed the user to go into a deep state of hibernation. Ionize, otherwise known as Mechu Maxur, was a power that allowed the user to overload and damage electronics such as droids. Malicia was a power where the user would induce dizziness and nausea in enemies by affecting their equilibrium. Morikro was a power that could be used on oneself or towards others. It would suspend biological functions including breathing and heart rate to the point where they could survive without food, water, or even air for periods of up to a year. Plant Surge was a power that allowed the user to improve a plant's growth rate and even affect the manner in which it grew. Protection Bubble was a power where the user could create a defensive sphere around their body. It could protect the user from a wide range of attacks, deflect blasts, defend against lightsabers, and vacuums in space. Revitalize is a power where the user could restore an exhausted, wounded, or unconscious being or themselves. Tuta Minis was a power related to energy absorption where the user could draw heat or electrical energy into their bodies and diffuse it or channel it away. Wall of Light was a power that when many Jedi joined together and focused, they could contain or purge the dark side from a specific location or sever a dark sider's force connection. Dark side powers were accessed through the force's dark side. They draw on negative emotions and have been shown to have a physically corrupting effect on the user. Dark Shear, also known as the Spear of Midnight Black, was a power that allowed the user to forge an invisible spear from dark side energy. Deadly Sight was a power that could inflict pain and injury on enemies simply by looking at them. Dark Transfer was an extremely rare power that allowed the user to bring others back to life from the brink of death. Originally thought to be just aligned with the dark side, it became aligned with both sides of the force. Drain Knowledge is the ability to extract knowledge out of a sentient without their consent. Drain Life or Dark Healing was an ability where the user would steal vitality from others to heal themselves. Force Alchemy, better known as Sith Alchemy, was a power which used the dark side to permanently alter an item or living being. 
Force Choke was an attack using the Force where the user could apply a grip on their target's neck, allowing them to choke the target from a distance. Force Corrupt or Force Corruption was the ability to temporarily manipulate the minds of others to make them serve the user's own cause. Force Destruction is a power to create an energy field drawn from the dark side and throw it in any direction. Force Fear, which also included Force Horror and Force Insanity, was a power where the user would be able to cause an uncontrollable shaking fear in the target's mind. Force Lightning, otherwise known as Sith Lightning, was the well-known ability where the user would discharge bolts of electricity from their hands. Force Maelstrom, also known as Force Bombard, was a combination of the powers of Telekinesis, Protection Bubble, and Force Lightning. The user would create a protection bubble around themselves, and then loose objects or people would swirl around the outside of the bubble using Telekinesis. Finally, they would blast the objects away using Force Lightning. Force Phantoms, also called Sith Phantasms, were the ability to create lifelike apparitions that would serve whatever inclination their creator desired. Force Rage, also known by the names of Dark Rage, Force and Rage, and Force Fury, was an ability where they would tap into their innermost fears, pain, and hatred, and turn it into an intense rage to increase their speed, strength, and ferocity. Force Scream was an involuntary exertion of the dark side in the form of a scream, which emitted strong frustration, rage, or grief emitted through the Force. Force Slow was a power where the user would cloud the target's mind, causing them to slow down both mentally and physically. Force Sphere was a power where the user created a sphere of red energy that could harm opponents and deflect blaster fire as well. Force Storm was the ability to create hyperspace wormholes that could consume whole fleets of starships and tear apart surfaces of entire planets. Kinetite was a variation of Force Lightning that was restrained into a sphere and could be thrown at an enemy. Instead of burning or electrocuting, it acted as a solid projectile. Mechu Deru was a power where the user could manipulate mechanical systems such as ships, computers, and droids. Memory Lock was a power where the user would reach into their victims' minds and force them to relive all of their worst memories over and over again, to the point where it almost seemed to cause them physical pain. Midichlorian Manipulation was the ability to create, maintain, or save life through the influencing of midichlorians to a certain degree. Mind Control, also known as Dominant Mind or Control Mind, was the ability to take complete control of the mind of their victim. Mind Twist was the power to intrude another's consciousness and could twist their perception. Thought Bomb was a power that released the full volatility of the dark side. When detonated, the bomb annihilated every force-sensitive being caught within its blast radius and absorbed their fragmented soul. Transfer Essence, also known as Transfer Life, was a power to transfer a person's consciousness into another body, or in some cases, an inanimate object. And there you have it! Thanks for watching everyone! What did you think about this video? Let us know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. We hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair. You are not a Jedi yet.